All right. Hello. We are celebrating the new moon in Libra. So today in this video, we are going to be walking you through a yoga sequence where you can align your chakras. So you're, we're going to be doing some grounding first, and then we'll, we're going to be journeying through our chakras. There'll be more of a focus on the heart chakra because Libra is very much associated with the heart chakra. And um, this full, or sorry, this new moon in Libra, it's coming at 5.55 a.m. on Sunday morning. And the 555, these are numbers of change. These are numbers of transformation. And, you know, when we do see these angel numbers, and especially when the new moon comes in at those, at those uh, triple numbers or those angel numbers, um, you know, there's certain messages that are coming in. For instance, when we see the 555, it has to do with change, transformation, changes are coming. These are some of the messages for you. The other messages too that are coming through is uh, to get out of your comfort zone, right? So, you know, if there's things that you've been wanting to change in your life, if there's, uh, you've been wanting to make changes, maybe you want to get back on track with your fitness. Maybe there's, you know, you wanted to, you know, get a new job or, uh, you know, any kind of changes that, you know, you're making in your life or in your home or, you know, even in your career, you know, that's what the 555 has to do with. And, this new moon is in Libra, which is the scales, it's about balance, is about, um, you know, letting go of, you know, things that are not necessary, right? So finding balance. Um, and, you know, sometimes too, as we're going along in life, you know, especially when we have certain goals, sometimes balance may not always be something that we can attain, but, uh, we can definitely start to make changes in our life to promote more balance in our life so that, you know, we can, you know, we can feel at ease, we can feel well, we can be less stressed, right? Um, other things to do with this new moon, this new moon has, uh, it's opening up an abundance portal. So this new moon and the fact that it's coming two days after the equinox, um, it's opening up ourselves to abundance. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time people think just, you know, oh, you know, with manifesting that it's just about grounding and it's, it's much more than that, you know, grounding helps with manifesting. So making sure our root chakra is in balance definitely helps us with manifesting, but it's not just grounding. It's, it's, you know, working our way through, not just manifesting, but, you know, putting those things into action, right? So using our will to put those things into action, and then also, you know, opening ourselves up to, you know, messages or opening up ourselves up to the possibilities, the opportunities that are in front of us, right? For whatever we're working towards, right? Whether that's better health, whether that's, you know, um, more stable career or, you know, better, you know, more finances or, um, you know, abundance, just having, you know, whatever, enough food, enough, enough of what you need, right? So, that's why we're going to be working on the heart chakra a little bit more too. So it's associated with Libra, but it's also going to help you manifest more. So whether that's, you know, better health or, you know, maybe you want to, you know, make enough so that you can, you know, go on a trip, you know, whatever you're, you're trying to manifest into your life. Maybe there's things in your career that you want to do. Maybe you want to hire out, maybe you want to, you know, have a career change or you want to do something different in your career. Right. So these things, think about these things that you do want to manifest in today's practice and uh, have fun with it. Do your best as we go along. And did I bring my ones down? I did not. Easy ears a good one to use for today for opening up the heart chakra. Balance is also good for grounding. And you can place the balance. Sorry, I was seeing if there was any other ones. So you can place a couple of drops of balance. You 
Okay, so place a couple of drops of balance. You can place them on your wrists and then you can also put it on your root chakra. So your root chakra is where your tailbone is. So you can put it on your root chakra. You can also put it on the bottoms of your feet so that you can get grounded. Okay, and of course, if you do want to learn more about the oils or you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment or you can message me as well. And then there's easier. I always like using this one for exercise and especially opening up the heart chakra because it's good for that. It's good for opening up our lungs, breathing better. So it's a good one to use as we're going into our, our meditation or sorry, our yoga practice. A few other oils that are good for Libra, full moon, or sorry, new moon. <laughs> Uh, Libra relates well and cooperates with others. People often turn to Libra in stressful times because of their peaceful nature, but going along to get along may leave Libra facilitating on issues and unsure of themselves. So if you are a Libra ascendant or you have Libra, that is probably why people go to you in stressful times because of your peaceful nature, but you need to not always go along with everybody's flow. You need to, you need to ground yourself, but also ask yourself, what do you want to do? What do you want to manifest? What do you want to bring into your life? Right? Because sometimes, you know, it's, you could be easygoing, but you know, too easygoing, going along with everybody else. That's not serving you. Right. So, and this is where, you know, setting boundaries can help setting, um, you know, boundaries in place that, you know, keep you well or, you know, that help you be productive or perform well at whatever you have to do, right? Because we can't really pour from an empty cup and if we're always giving, 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 <laughs> that's not good for us either. So my ascendance in Libra. Um, so if you have an ascendant in Libra, you have a moon in Libra, or you have your, um, sorry, sun in Libra, you're a Libra. <laughs> Right, so something to keep in mind. And then here are some oils that are good for uh, Libra, you know, whether you are a Libra or you can use during this new moon. I mentioned two oils, but here are some other ones. So um, for strength, being cooperative, geranium is good to use, rose is good to use, neroli is good to use, liang liang, jasmine, cumin, and patchouli um peaceful lavender is a good oil liang liang oh that one popped up again melissa neroli geranium is another one um that came up twice juniper berry majram roman chamomile copaiba siberian fir arborvitae basil and coriander weaknesses so indecisive uh, lemon is good for that. Peppermint, lemon, myrtle, and rosemary. Actually, I used some rosemary today. So this is a good one for indecisiveness. It's good for memory too. And it's good for respiratory. So win-win. And you can place this on your heart chakra. You can also place this on your, if you're feeling indecisive, you can take a couple of drops of rosemary. If uh you're feeling it indecisive, you can place it literally just, sorry, I'm gonna have to stand up for this one. You can place it on your liver. So your liver's on your right side. It'll probably look on, when I'm doing this video, it might look like the left. Um, but anyways, you place it on your liver and like your gallbladder area and it'll actually help the detoxify that, which can actually help uh, with that indecisiveness that you may be feeling. And weak willed, petty green, birch, melaleuca, ginger, clove, and wintergreen. So those are some oils that you can use, you know, if you're feeling any of those feelings or um, if you want, you can use any one of those oils if you want to make your own like new moon oil blend. I'm just going to use balance, easy air, and rosemary for this one. And uh, when you're ready, we're going to go ahead and get into our practice. So do your best to follow along. I'll light. Oops. Let 
middle of the stage. So you, if you have stage, you can light it up, bring it around yourself. If not, then I'll definitely stage for us. Wow. And then, yeah. Get a longer. Okay, and then just put off to the side. Oops. And when you're ready, we're going to go into our yoga practice. <clears throat> okay, so meeting on to our mats. Let's come into a stand up position. Oh, that looks pretty cool. There's like smoke coming out. <laughs> it'll, it'll stop in a little bit. So we're going to meet on our mats. Let's spread our feet nice and wide. Or spread our toes nice and wide. We'll lift our toes up. We're going to hug our toes to the ground. Let's let our feet hug the ground. Really connect deep with Mother Earth. Let's take a nice deep breath in and then exhale out. Good. Letting it all out. If there's any thoughts that come up, any worry thoughts, any chatter, we can breathe those thoughts down into the earth. So let's do a little grounding right now. We'll spread our fingers nice and wide. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Breathing into our bellies, connecting with our breath. And then exhaling through our nose. Good. Breathing in again, stretching upper spine a little bit. And then letting out a sigh. <sighs> letting any worry thoughts go down into Mother Earth. Feeling ourselves get rooted, feeling roots coming from the bottom of our feet, going deep, deep, deep into Mother Earth. On this next breath, we're going to make sure that we have soft knees belly been tucked in and then we're breathing deep into our bellies, filling our bellies up with air. And then on the exhale, we're letting all that air go, breathing out of our nose. Good. Continuing to inhale, tucking belly up and in, and then continuing to stretch up through our spine, almost like our head is being held like a bag. And our chin is level. We're pushing our shoulders down and away from our ears. We're taking a nice deep breath in as we stretch up. And then once again, exhaling, rolling those shoulders down and back and away from our ears. Dusting some shit off our shoulder. <laughs> okay, taking a nice deep breath in. And then exhaling. Good. As we breathe in, we're noticing our bellies fill up with air, then our rib cage, then our chest. And then on the exhale, we're noticing that our chest lowers, our tummy lowers, continuing to breathe in. And then exhaling out. Good. As we're continuing to breathe in, we'll notice that our belly rises on the inhale, our rib cage, and then our chest. And then on the exhale, we're lowering our chest, we're lowering our rib cage and our tummy. Inhaling, reaching up, and then exhaling, let's start to bend forward. And as we start to bend forward, we'll place our hands on top of our knees. We'll lift up, pushing our shoulders down and away from our ears. And then we're going to reach for the ground. 
We're gonna let our head hang here for a moment, gently nodding yes, and then gently shaking our head no, and then gently nodding our head yes again. This is good for getting rid of excess and deficiency in our root chakra. It's also good for calming our nervous system. From here, let's start to reverse swan dive as we reach up. And then exhaling, let's bring our hands out in front of us for our heart chakra. So this is our prayer hands here. So take a moment, just take a moment to have a gratitude moment here. Think of three things you're grateful for. Can be anything, can be this practice, can be anything throughout your week, can be anything that you're proud about or proud of accomplishing. Okay, when we're ready, let's start to take our feet out wide and we'll have a bit of double shoulder width apart. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go into a little bit of hip circle. So breathing in, we're gonna round. So we'll come back around. We're gonna do five times, actually let's go 10 times going one way. So breathing in and then exhaling. Good, breathing in, we're circling to the right and then exhaling as we circle back. Inhaling and then exhaling. Good. We're noticing how our hips are feeling. If we are feeling any kind of tension, we can always shorten our base. It doesn't have to be wide circles. And you want to imagine a nice orange color coming up. And this orange color is going in a clockwise direction just below our navel. And last one. Okay, ready and going the other way. Good, three more to do. And last one. Okay, excellent. From here, bringing our hands together. Let's step towards the mat. Okay, stepping towards the mat, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. Let's interlace our fingers. I'll stay in the middle. You go to the top of the mat though. So from here, we're gonna breathe in. Let's stretch up our spine and then we're gonna exhale and just tilt to one side, inhaling again and then tilting to the other. Good, breathing in and then exhaling, pressing that left foot down as we tilt to the right and then inhaling again and then exhaling, tilting to the left. Okay, excellent. From here, take your hands to our center. Let's step to the top of our mat. We're gonna go into some of our lunges next. So breathing in, inhaling, and then exhaling, coming into our half fold. Breathing in again, pushing those shoulders down and away from our ears. Let's come into our full fold. Soft knees, of course. We're gonna slide that right knee back and down. And as we do this, let's start to come up. So let's place our hands on top of our knee. We can stay here if we want. We can take our hands up above. Good, exhaling. Let's come back down. Let's leave that right hand there. Let's go into a twist here for our lunges. Breathing in. 
and then exhaling. Good. Bring that hand back down. We're just going to shift back into reverse lunge. So reverse lunge, you're just shifting back. Do your best, of course. And then from here, let's slide that left leg back and come into our child pose. Inhaling, let's shift forward, hips directly underneath the shoulders. Belly button tucked in, we're not sinking our hips, we're lifting up belly and engaging our core. And then from here, we're in our plank, we can use our I am affirmations. I'm confident, I am successful in all my personal and business endeavors. Or you can say, I am strong. I am building my dream body. <laughs> I am powerful. Any one of those I am affirmations will do. Or you can make your own, whichever one you want to become. Okay, lowering down into our chaturanga. Rolling shoulders down and back. Coming up for cobra. And then exhaling, shifting back into our child's pose, taking a nice deep breath in. And then exhaling out. Good. From here, taking that right foot up. And let's place our hands on top of our knee. From here, we're going to take it. You can either stay here with the hands on top of the knee or take your hands up if you want to take your practice further today. Good. From here, exhaling, we're going to come down. Let's take that left hand, leave it on the ground, and we'll bring that right hand up. Good. From here, let's go into our reverse lunge, and then let's come forward. And as we come forward, let's step both feet together. Reverse swan dive, inhaling, reaching up. And then once again, we're going to interlace our hands. So inhaling and then exhaling, tilting to the right, inhaling, and then tilting to the left, and then exhaling. Once again, coming into our half fold here. Good. From here, reverse swan diving, reaching back up, and then exhaling, coming into our chair. Good. Inhaling, all right, let's do a heart chakra sun salutation here so we can start moving into our heart chakra energy. Now, before we do that, one of the elements of the heart chakra is air. So take your hands together, bring them towards your, your heart center. Take a nice deep breath in. And then let your breath Come over your hands. So just blow on your fingers. Feel the wind of your breath blowing on your fingers. And then from here, <clears throat> we're going to start to Take our hands up and we'll bring them in behind our head. And so hands will come in behind our head. We're going to breathe in, lift it up. Good. And then exhaling, we're going to tuck our chin in. From here, let's start to take our hands down to our side. Let's interlace our fingers next. We'll take a nice deep breath in. Belly button tucked in, lifting up through our hearts. And then exhaling, bending forward, bringing our arms up to where our body will allow. Inhaling again. And then exhaling. Letting your head hang for a moment. All right, let's take that left foot back and down. Once again, we want knee over ankle alignment happening on our right knee and you can stay here if you want or if you want to add the heart chakra arms in behind the back let's go ahead and do that belly button tucked in breathing in 
And then exhaling, we're coming forward. Let's bring that knee back. We'll go into some cat and cow here. So breathing out, we're rounding our spine, and then inhaling, opening up our hearts. Exhaling, rounding again. And then once again, arching your back, pointing our tailbone to the sky as we open up our heart chakra. And then exhaling, rounding, pushing that mat a little bit further away. And then inhaling. Gently squeezing our shoulder blades together. Exhaling, rounding again. And then breathing in. Good. From here, let's come into a neutral spine and let's let ourselves do our lion's breath. Now we're going a little bit into the throat chakra here. So we're going to breathe in and Ah, you can let out a sigh, you can let out a sound, any sound you want. So breathing in, ah, <laughs> and letting out any kind of sound you want. So breathing in again, ah. So whatever sounds you want to make, or you don't have to make a sound, you can make a roar. And ah. you can even make a sound like that. And one more time. Okay, excellent. From here, let's start to come down into our puppy dog. So with puppy dog, we have our hands like so. So hands will be like so. This is half dog or puppy dog. And you can let your the tip of your forehead touch the ground. Good, and then when we're ready, let's start to crawl our hands back. Let's take that left foot up by our hands. Let's come back up. And as we come up, we can either keep our hands here if we need to do that for stability or if we want to Interlace our fingers. If you can't interlace your hands, you can always bring them back like this as well. Interlace your hand, breathing in, belly button tucked in, lifting up through our hearts. Feeling love, joy, and abundance coming to us, opening up ourselves to love, joy, and abundance. And then exhaling, shifting forward. <laughs> Good. From here, we're letting go the fears, we're letting go of anything no longer serving us. And from here, inhaling, reaching up, and then exhaling, hands to heart center. Once again, we'll start to go through our practice. So breathing in, we'll come into the middle here. And if you have frozen shoulder, or you have any kind of shoulder tension, um, this is something that can definitely help you open that up. So place our hands once again in behind our head lightly. And from here, breathing in, lifting our heart and opening up our shoulders and then exhaling, chin comes in, one, two. Breathing in again. And then exhaling. Good. Continuing to inhale. And then exhale. Tucking your chin in. Good. And then. Good. From here, let's take our hands down by our sides. Let's step to the top of the mat again. And as we step to the top of the mat, we'll take that right foot, whoops. <laughs> Let's take that right foot back, hands to heart center here. So once again, we can notice how we're feeling here. Notice how our stance is. We want knee over ankle. 
And, you know, it's okay to have a short stance if, you know, this is our first time back in a while or if we're feeling any kind of tension in our hips. Okay, so belly button tucked in. We're gonna lift up through our arches of our feet, press our feet down, and then lifting up through the arches of your feet, belly button tucked in. And then of course from here, breathing in. And then exhaling. Bring your arms in behind your back, doing our heart opening, our chest expansion here. So breathing in. And then when we're ready, letting those arms go, we're going to heel toe ourselves. So left, sorry, right foot's going to point to the long edge of the mat. Left foot will be to the short edge of that. We'll take a nice deep breath in. And we're going to exhale out. Once again, breathing in, nice expansive breath here. We're looking down that left hand middle finger and we're making sure that we can only see the big toe of the left foot. As we're continuing to breathe in, big expansive breath here. Breathing in joy, love and abundance in all forms, opening up ourselves to the opportunities of having more joy, love, creativity and abundance in our lives. Inhaling, we're gonna flip that hand over and then bring it up on the inhale. So you can leave it here. Um, if you can though, try to reach hands together. If you can't, you can always grab a strap. I totally forgot straps over there, but <clears throat> you could totally grab a strap and then also do this. So I'll do it from this. So what I mean is with your left hand, the one that's going up, you grab it. And then from here, you get that really nice stretch. Okay, so you can go ahead and use a strap. Okay, coming back into position, breathing in. And then when we're ready, we're going to start to let those arms go. We'll bring them up again. Inhaling, we're reaching and we're going into our triangle pose. Such a nice stretch here. And good for opening up our chest. Inhaling. And then exhaling. Let's come back down. And take that left foot back. Let's go into our downward dog. We're going to take a nice deep breath in again. This time, inhale, taking that right foot up. And as we come up, once again, feeling our inner warrior spirit, noticing how our stance is. So belly button tucked in. And then once again, just fixing our stance. Square our hips to the wall in front of us. And then once again, breathing in, hands come up, and then we'll bring them in behind our back. So interlacing. Excellent. So we're breathing in, and then letting our arms come out to the sides. So once again, we're breathing in, doing our expansive breath here. And then exhaling, relaxing your shoulders. On this next inhale, breathing in love, joy, abundance, creativity. Bringing it, breathing in the opportunities for more abundance in our lives, more financial freedom, more, more health, being more healthy. more enjoying life. And then once again, checking our knee over ankle line, making sure we can just see the big toe. And then straightening our front leg and then going into our, oh, we forgot one, hold on. Mm -mm. Okay, one sec, we're good. 
So we're not coming into a triangle. Come back to that warrior two. We're breathing in. And then flipping that hand up. Let's bring it up into a reverse warrior for a moment. And then bring it in behind us. So if you can touch your fingers, awesome. Don't force yourself. Um, use the strap if necessary. If you got shorter arms, no shame in using the strap. Sometimes when the side, one side is tight, I have to use the strap. It's okay. <laughs> breathing in. And then exhaling, arms come back down. We're breathing in one more time. Straightening that front leg, shifting forward and going into our triangle pose. Okay, coming back down and then coming into our downward dog again. From here, let's start to hop our feet or walk our feet to our hands, bring hands to heart center. And then when we're ready, let's start to go into some of our other postures. So let's take our feet out wide onto our mat, belly button tucked in, of course. And once again, we can start to take our hands in behind our back. We can either interlace them like what we've been doing, or we're gonna reverse, reverse the prayer, okay? So this is called reverse prayer when it's in behind your back. So belly button tucked in, let's lift up. And then from here, reverse prayer, we're going to start to come forward, breathing in. And as you have your feet, you can even point them inward a little bit here. So breathing in and then exhaling, allowing your body to come down. Noticing how you're feeling here. Good. Letting your hands slide. And you can even start to massage along the leg here. Woo, those stomach points are pretty. <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of massage. There is a point just below your knee on the side here. And the one on the one side is really tender. You can do some self-massage while you're here. And then place your hands onto the ground. And when you're ready, you can start to bring your head towards the ground. If you need to widen your base, you can widen your base. And then when we're ready, we're going to start to bring one knee down and then the other. And we'll start to come onto our tummy. And as we come onto our tummy, we're going to place our hands directly underneath our shoulders. I'll make sure my hair is out of the way so you can see. And then from here, breathing in, we're rolling our shoulders down and back for Cobra. And then exhaling, coming back down. On this next one, we're going to start to lift up a little bit for power. So breathing in, rolling your shoulders down and back, and just lifting up slightly, only going to where it feels comfortable to do so. Good. Exhaling, coming back down. And then one more, we're going to come back into our child's pose here. And then shifting forward once again, coming down. The last time for our Cobra, breathing in, rolling your shoulders down and back. And if this is as high as we go today, that's okay. Good, exhaling. Our next one that we're gonna go into is Sphinx. So we're doing a little bit of Cobra just to warm up for Sphinx. 
<laughs> so belly button tucked in, we're spreading our fingers nice and wide. Okay, we have our elbows directly underneath our shoulders. Sorry, my hair's been doing its own thing. Okay, we're kind of hugging our elbows in, in towards our rib. Okay, so belly button will be tucked in. We're gonna lift up and then gently squeeze our shoulder blades together. Our chin is level with the ground. And then we're lifting up through our, basically where our chest and our tummy are. We're kind of lifting up through our tummy, giving it a nice stretch. How are we doing there? Okay, we need to readjust. You can kind of fan out your hands. So tuck the belly button in, keep the legs flat to the ground. You're kind of grounding your legs here and then lifting up. And just do it to where it feels comfortable. We want to let go of expectations, competition, judgment when we're in a practice. And then exhaling, coming down. We can even go into our alligator pose. And then when we're ready, we're going to start to come back and just come back into our child's pose here. Take a moment. Let's come up for a second. Let's come into our, we're going to go into our, um, sorry, dog breath. It's like breathing dog, but that's not what it's called. It's called dog breath, sorry. Uh, taking a nice deep breath in and then exhaling. Yes. So basically you are doing essentially a dog's breath. So it looks like this, breathing in and then Okay, so you can even imagine the blue color once again swirling here. Got a lot of the heart chakra stuff. Even if you didn't imagine the green swirling color, which we were totally focusing on, but I totally forgot to mention, um, you know, when we're going through our yoga poses, even if you're not thinking of the colors, just know that you are aligning your chakras just by doing certain poses. Yoga is to re-engineer and re-engineer the mind and the body. And that's the beautiful thing about it and why it is really the keys to life, the keys to healing, right? So let's take a nice deep breath in and then we're letting go around worry, okay? Letting go of rejection. Letting go of guilt. Guilt is something that is associated with the heart chakra. And we're letting go of guilt. Letting go of listening to things and people that don't align with our soul or align with what's in our heart of what we want to do. So breathing in and then exhaling. Okay, let's come off of our feet and let's start to go into some of our other movements that can help. So we're going to come down for a moment and let's start to go into that bridge pose. So we'll go into our bridge pose. Once again, this is an heart opening one and energizing one. Once again, you can imagine that green swirl when we're doing this one and the blue one because it does both. The throat chakra and the heart chakra. Okay, so breathing in, lifting our hips up high to the sky. 
Inhaling, we're opening up ourselves to standing our ground, to setting boundaries, to going with our own flow. And then exhaling, lowering back down. Good, we'll do that again. Breathing in, this time lifting up, we're opening up ourselves to being authentic, to saying how we feel. We're opening up ourselves to finding our purpose and living life the way we desire. And then exhaling, coming back down. If you need to do any knees to chest, you can do that. Okay, for this next one, you can totally go into wheel. Or if you want to stick with bridge pose, you could totally do that. Okay, so we'll go into bridge pose. So you can start with, if you're going to go into bridge pose and you want to take it further, you can lift your hands underneath. In fact, let's just do this together right now. So we're opening up ourselves to creating the life that we desire and living life to the fullest. We are opening up ourselves to living life passionately and taking charge of our life. And then exhaling, lowering back down, coming back down. Okay, this next one, we will be going into wheels. So give yourself a moment here. And if you've never done wheel before, um, do your best. If you have a neck shoulder injury, I would say just continue with bridge, okay? And if you have your hair down, you will have to <laughs> move it up like I'm going to have to in a moment. There we go. Ah, okay. So hands down. Hopefully my right hand is good with this. And then from here, feet, about shoulder width apart or hip width apart. And then you're going to lift up. Ooh, right hand does not like that. <laughs> okay. Breathing in. And then exhaling. Allowing yourself to express yourself freely. And then exhale back down. And knees to chest. Sorry, I had a little bit of um, an injury in my left, no, sorry, right hand and wrist. That's why I was like, okay, let's see how the right hand is. <laughs> Anyways, you do what you can. And yeah, if you are dealing with an injury, you take care of it. And is, is okay. Anyways, when we're ready, let's take our legs down. And we're gonna go into fish pose. If you've never done fish pose, do your best with this one. I'll cue you along. You're gonna take your hands underneath your glutes. Okay, take your elbows out to the sides if you've got long arms. And even if you don't got long arms, you can still take your elbows out to the sides. If you have a neck shoulder injury, um, just be careful or be cautious with this one. You can also place a pillow underneath your back um, if this if coming up was a little bit difficult for you. From here, elbows out to the side. You're going to start to lift up. And you should feel a nice stretch or lengthening along the neck and the back of the spine as you lift up. Opening up ourselves to abundance, creating the life that we desire. Living a happy, prosperous, and abundant life or living a healthy life. And then exhaling, coming back down. From here, we can start to go into our half plow. So place your hands on the back and then lift up. Once again, be careful, be cautious. And then going into our half plow. And then 
When we're ready, coming back down, bring those knees into chest, lengthening out. And then leaving hands down by your sides. We are in our final relaxation pose. Our Sebastian pose. Corpse pose. Perfect just in time for Halloween season. Breathing in and then exhaling. Noticing how you're feeling. Noticing the sounds around you. Noticing how you're feeling in your body. Taking a moment here to have a moment of gratitude for your practice today, for your, for your body and all the hard work that it does. For taking this time for you. It's not easy when we have a very busy society. But that's why you're here. You're here on your mat because it's okay to shut off from the busyness. It's okay to do things that you need to do for you. It's okay for you to find balance through movement. It's okay for you to live a stress-free life and live the life that you desire. And then exhaling. And then when you're ready, you can slowly make it onto your side. And then come back up. And here we are. Thank you for coming to this practice. And thank you for taking this time with your own self and to do this for yourself because it's so important that we, we take that time for our body and to do that. And thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and joining. The light in me honors and bows to the light in you. Namaste. Have an amazing day. And I do want you to think with that 555 that's coming in, you know, what's one thing that you can change What's one thing that you can change today to help you work towards some of those goals, some of those intentions that you're working on? Or what's one change you can make today to start changing your life or going and start going in that direction that you want to go into, right? So just think about that. And then, yeah, I would love to hear how this, this practice was for you. I'd love to hear how this went for you. And of course, if you have any questions about the oils or you have any questions about yoga, or even if you want to take your yoga practice to the next level and you want to work with me, then uh, feel free to message me. You can even feel free to uh, leave a comment down below and I will be replying to comments and any questions that you may have. All right. Happy new moon. Sorry, I was going to say full moon again. Happy new moon. And we will see you again uh, next, next new moon. All right. I hope you enjoyed this practice and many blessings to you this new moon. See you again.